Tuesday, everyone. Today, we're going to continue our series on how to be kind in difficult situations. I'm kind of taking you through what I call a step-by-step -step process to make it easier for you. And yeah, some of it's, you got homework, some of it you have to practice, but that's okay. Hi everyone, I'm Teresa Ramirez, your kindness ambassador, and welcome to Journey in Kindness. And today we're going to talk about changing your perspective. Change the way you look at things. And when you're in a heated moment, it's really difficult. That's why you need to practice your pause. And for example, when someone, we'll start with Roebridge, uh, when someone cuts you off in traffic or they're speeding down and you're like, good grief, you know, sometimes they go on, on the berm and, you know, they're not even in a lane and they're speeding away, cutting you off, dodging in between traffic and you're just, what is going on with that idiot, right? We all say that, don't we? And that's where we need to practice a pause to say, wow. What's going on in that person's life? Chances are they're not really being an idiot. First of all, chances are they don't realize they cut you off. That happens all the time. The second thing is maybe there's some emergency that they have to get home to. Maybe something happened with one of the kids or, you know, they have an elderly parent that needs them that has fallen and they need to get there or they have to rush to the hospital because some, a loved one has been taken there. So you just have to stop, take that pause. And however you want to remind yourself to take that pause, like I said, sticky notes are wonderful. Then try to change your perspective. And once you change your perspective, it does change the way you look at things. Another example, someone, you know, you're at work, you're at home with your kids, you're on the street talking to neighbors and they're just yelling and screaming and ranting and raving about some little thing that they perceive that you did and, and you're in the wrong. Again, you got to practice that pause because I know your first reaction is to become defensive and yell back. And nine times again, nine times out of 10, it has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with if you're at work before they left home. It has, if you're your kids, maybe it was something that happened at school. Golden opportunity to find out what's going on. Uh, if it's a neighbor, the neighbor might have been mad at something else that has taken place. It rarely has to do personally with you. So when someone is raining, raving, don't take it personal. And the way to remember to do that is to practice the pause. Just remember, a soft word turns away wrath. I love that. That's Proverbs 15.1. I love that uh, Bible verse because it is the basis for journey and kindness. It's they, that soft word, that soft response, that kind word. And, and it does turn off wrath just like that. And you have, when you're going through, you also have to think that blessed are the merciful. And if you're changing your perspective, you're being merciful for they shall receive mercy in return. Those are just little things that you, that you put in your head. So when someone is going ranting and raving, when they're done, take a deep breath and said, how can I help you? What can I do to make things better for you? You've turned that whole situation around. I bet you anything they didn't expect that answer. And maybe they really do need help with something that is something you can do. And sometimes they're saying, I just don't know what to do. And I said, well, let's sit down. Let's brainstorm. That your child, sit, what is it that you need? Let's, let's sit down. What was the best thing that happened to you in school today? What was the thing that made you laugh today? What was the worst thing that happened today? Chances are that one, you'll find out why your child is acting the way they are. So that is today's message on how to handle difficult situations in a kind way. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you really like this video, please share it. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next Tuesday.